On December 26th, China's aerospace sector flew a sixth-generation fighter design for the first time. This video will go over its most obvious design features and try to deduce their implications. It will also explore just where in the design process China is with its 6th gen fighter and we will explain just what are we actually looking at when we see the strange looking flying diamond of a plane. A video that's to come sometime later will go more in depth, provide historical context and comparison with the US next gen program and reveal what does the plane's appearance mean for China and what could it mean for the US. For some days now, the imminent flight of a Chinese 6th gen airframe was rumored and, well, it actually seems to have happened. The plane seems to have flown over the city of Chengdu, after the aircraft took off from the factory complex of Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, that's the maker of China's J-20 5th gen fighter, which was appropriately the chase plane for this occasion. So what's the new plane like? Thankfully, the J-20 chase plane gives us context. Due to telephoto lenses used over great distances, sizes of two planes can be confidently compared, and while J-20 has a wingspan of around 13 meters, this new plane is visibly bigger. In fact, its wingspan might reach 20 meters, which would basically be unheard of for a jet fighter. Even more so when we look at the plane's configuration. Those are highly swept back wings, basically as one would expect for a supersonic fighter jet. Length can be estimated from other images, suggesting 20 to 22 meters. That's without the nose pitot tube, which is required for testing, but the final design years later will not have it. The wing's trailing edge is swept forward, leading to a diamond wing shape, somewhat reminiscent of YF-23 for example, though not as extreme. In general, the theoretical perfect stealth shape for a plane is one of a so-called hopeless diamond, a perfect rhomboid shape as flat as possible and with as few protrusions as possible. It is obvious the volume of the plane is frankly massive. Its belly intakes start quite forward and the body of the plane is very wide. It's plausible China's Air Force requirement was ranged to threaten Guam. Such a requirement would have driven the design to grow so large. Coupled with a huge wing area, that plane is simply oversized not necessarily in a bad way, but it is sized to accept a huge amount of fuel and a hint of the line where the weapons bay should be suggests its weapons bay might be almost 6 meters long, which is coincidentally the length of China's latest long-range PL-17 missile. Of course, with such a huge body, cruise missiles larger than the US JASM might also easily fit. What also seems visible are sensor apertures around the nose, not just the nose radon, but also a few different cheek side arrays. The plane has a visible cockpit cover, so it's manned. So far, images aren't good enough to deduce if it's big enough to seat two people, The rumors before the flight did suggest the plane has side-by-side -side seating, meaning two pilots similar to F-111 or Su-34. That doesn't mean we are looking at a strike aircraft, as 6th generation fighters are gonna wage air warfare in a different way. But given the size of the plane and its weapons bay, it's also quite plausible the shown design is really a multi-role plane to cover all sorts of air combat and ground strike missions. But we digress. One of the most striking features, perhaps unique in the world, is its engine arrangement. This plane seems to have three engines, lined up in the rear with the side engines using belly slash side intakes and the middle engine seems to have a separate dorsal intake. Such an arrangement is unheard of for an actual fighter jet that managed to get off a drawing board. Side intakes seem to be of carat type, similar to say F-22, and not of the vertless supersonic inlet type, which F-35 and J-20 use. Whether that suggests higher top speeds intended is for now unknown. Certainly the high sweep of the wings, coupled with the even higher sweep of one continuous line of the nose blending into the wing roots, suggests a fairly high theoretical Mach figure. Now why three engines? It's too early to tell, but off the bat it could suggest designers simply could not make powerful enough yet compact enough engines for such a plane, and keep the design confined to the more usual two-engine solution. This thing is massive. 
one can clearly see double wheel bogies used for main landing gear. Given its size, it seems likely its max takeoff weight is designed for maybe even 50 tons. In the olden era, that would be a tactical bomber. But planes have been getting bigger over the decades, and next gen planes from all countries are likely to be heavier than their predecessors. Even so, this thing is plausibly so big that even two of China's most powerful engines, the WS-15, which may in its future variants approach 200 kN of thrust, may not be enough to power it, hence possibly the need for three engines. It's also plausible that the middle engine is somewhat different and that engine usage is managed for various situations and needs. It is not known if China is going with variable cycle engines like the US, but if it's not, China may have optimized one engine for supersonic speeds while others would be regular designs, compromised to operate both at takeoffs and supersonic speeds. Also, three engines might be needed to supply the plane with enough electricity. Modern planes are so full of power demanding features that the power generation is becoming more and more of a bottleneck. Imagine a laser self-defense feature is also added in the future. That too would require tons of electricity. Finally, the whole design should be a pretty big jump up in terms of stealth. In 2022, US General Mark Kelly said China was on track with the development of their sixth generation fighter and that China is eyeing to make its stealth exponentially better. It's a contextless statement, but the plane we are looking at is clearly what a lot of 6th gen proposals have been proposing, a tailless shape of simplified geometry. The fact it doesn't seem to have any regular vertical control surfaces is very likely gonna make it harder to control than previous gen planes, almost certainly impacting its maneuverability, but 6th gen designs don't seem to be about maneuverability. That will likely be the job of unmanned drones flying in front of these big manned fighters. It's possible that three engines are also in some way there to help stabilize the plane. Certainly the split flaps near the wingtips are there to help control the plane. The B-2 bomber uses a similar concept, but in a cruising stage of the flight, those would close shut and be flush with the wings. It's too early to speculate much more about this plane, but it seems to be a big step up in China's capability. So we will leave that speculation for another video, coupled with comparisons to US 6th gen, and what all this might mean for both China and US. Right now, it's just a prototype. Actually, if rumors are to be believed, it's more like a demonstrator, kinda like YF-23 was, or YF-22 was, or the X-32 and X-35 were and rumor has it that China hasn't yet decided on the final manufacturer. So this may be in fact a proposal from Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, with another 6th gen plane proposal demonstrator plane from Shenyang Aircraft Corporation to fly soon. Some early images may indicate that has already happened, but that's another story. Depending on where US 6th gen program is at, China might have leapfrogged the US Air Force a little bit. If this is indeed a pre-selection prototype, and if US has so far flown only concept and 6th gen technology demo planes, then China might have actually flown the world's first 6th gen fighter.